In this video, we're going to be going over some more HTML and CSS, so let's get started. So I have an empty doc HTML file or document right here, and we're using Sublime, a free text editor. So let's get started. So first thing first, I'm going to add an h1 tag, the header. I'm going to do certify header as the thing. And we're going to save it and refresh the page. All right, Stedify header. Now what we're going to do is we're going to customize the header. And in Sublime, it's pretty easy to customize. You don't even you don't even need to open a new CSS file and link it or anything. You just need to do style, style, and you can do color. I'll do the color. I want to change the color. And of course, it's in hexadecimal, so it's not. Again, I said this is more of a classic editor, so you need to put it in hexadecimal, which we just have the hexadecimal color picker, and I'll do a blue color for this video. It's a darker you are. So I'm gonna pick this color, pretty classic blue, and just copy and paste it. I'm going to save it and I can refresh and now the header is blue. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a to buttons, which we're going to place some buttons here. So do button and I'm going to actually place the closing tag a little bit down because we're going to customize this button today. So I'll do BTN or I'll do yeah, BTN one this button. Save it and I'll refresh it now. You have a button. BTN one is our button. All right. So I'm gonna delete the lines we don't need. Okay. Since I'm gonna add another button, and this button is going to be a little different. So we're gonna customize this one. And now this button, when we customize it, we're going to do a new type of button, which basically gives us a pop-up. So when we click the button, we'll get a pop-up showing a message. So to get this type of button, I'll do on click. You have to use the on click. So this is basically saying when you click it, this is going to happen. And I'm going to do alert. Right. And the alert thing is going to give you the pop-up. And now we're going to place parentheses pair of parentheses and some quotes and we're going to type what we want to type so what's the pop-up going to say I'm just going to do pop-up alert and I'm going to do the button name pop-up btn all right and I'll I'll just leave that like that and we'll save it and if I click this, it'll get a pop-up. This page says pop-up alert. So basically analyzing this, we have the on click, which says once you click it, that's the on click. And the alert part is the entire pop-up. And the text here is what you're going to get over here. And the button name obviously goes in between the tags. So I'm going to close the gap. And I'm going to customize another button. So this time, our goal is just to customize any sort of button. We're going to change the color a little bit. We're going to change the font color. We're going to change the font color. It's going to be pretty good. All right. So over here, I'm going to do button. And we're going to put this down. And I'll just do button style. And the style is basically we're changing it. So this is a CSS that comes in. And we're going to change the background color. And the background color we can do. We're going to do a red background color. Right. So I can place a red black background color over here. 
and I can run this. So I'll save it. And I'll do this. So this created a button with the red background color, obviously. The button has nothing in it, so we're going to put something in it. Control S for save. And now we have a button with the background color of red. Now, if I want to change text color, I can use... I actually want to change this and we can do color all right so i'm going to actually so this is all going to go within the the tags so i'm going to i'm going to do this and we'll go to a new thing which will do the color as red or not red we have to do in hexadecimal been using VSC for a while and I'll use that and I'll just close it and we need the closing quotes over here which we used in the beginning so there we go and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it And that changes the text to red. So since the background is red and the text is red, that changes everything to red. So that's a good way of creating a box. The only issue is, is it's a button, so you can, technically can click it, but if you don't put a link in it, it won't do anything. Alright. Alright, so that's some um, more customization with HTML and CSS. Hopefully the video was helpful. And yeah, it's more customization of HTML and CSS.